Did I mention the glow in the dark stars? I think it ended up being something like 11,000 stars in the end, and I, I put them up one by one. And uh, I think the whole thing took about two, two weeks to do. I think I spent a couple of hours a day on it. And um, this is under UV light. I don't know what the hell the lines are on the ceiling. They're not there under normal light, but they, for some reason they show up under UV light. But um, yeah, the UV light makes it look really bright. I'll show you what it looks like without the UV light on in a minute. But uh, yeah, for the first week or so I couldn't sleep. It was just so bright when you turn the light off. And uh, yeah, it was fun to do though. So this would be it without the UV light on, just kind of, you know, without any light at all, just the stars. And yeah, you get in bed at night. And um, the blue light that you can see is a paint that I used uh, from Star Ceilings. I'll put the link at the bottom. But uh, you can go to bed at 10 o'clock at night. And when you switch your light, when you wake up in the middle of the night, say 3 o'clock in the morning, the blue light from Star Ceilings is still really bright. It doesn't fade at all. It's really impressive. It's the brightest paint I've ever seen for glow in the dark paint. But um, the stars fade after 20 minutes or so, so it's not too hard to try and get to sleep. But uh, try it. It's fun.